It's time for Tuesday Terror here on the Mutual Audio Network. Be sure to leave the lights on while you listen. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. What's new in podcasting? Here's what we love, courtesy of Acast Recommends. Hi, I'm Sadaf. And I'm Sarah. And we are two very good friends who love gossip and celebrity scandals. We're also the hosts of a new podcast called The Reheat. We're going to use our experience as cultural journalists to provide you with in-depth analysis of all the stories you remember and some that you don't. Benifer to Brangelina. The time Princess Anne was almost kidnapped. Ooh, and what about Whitney? Crack is wax, Sarah. Listen to The Reheat on the Frequency Podcast Network or wherever you get your podcasts. A-cast, 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 recommends. Rusty Quill presents We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 12 The War Part One of Four Written by Casey Wayland Everyone was upstairs panicking in total darkness. I ran to the window and spotted the small ring of lights that surrounded our tower. I heard the terrified breaths of the rest of the people in the room. Normally, I think I'd be right there with them, holding my breath to see what happens next, watching our guardians defend us. But that night was different for me. Maybe it was the alcohol, maybe it was the emotional roller coaster Michael just gave me, or something else indescribable going on in me. But I felt different. I couldn't stand back and do nothing. Not this time. I had to help. Move! Just because the lights are out doesn't mean the party has to stop. (laughs) Move it! You! Out of my way! Oh, sorry. I couldn't see you. Bert, look, I'm telling you, I had the channel set at 20-something when I talked to Saul, and again when I radioed back for y'all to come and get me at the waterworks, so I'm damn sure we didn't change it. Look, calm down, okay? We don't know that for sure. Wait, what channel? What's going on? Hold on, Pegs. Tommy, did you fiddle with the knobs? Know anybody who did? No, I didn't, and nobody I saw. Well, somebody sure the hell did. Oh, God. All this shouting? Bert, what are the chances out of all the channels we're on the exact one they are on now? Mm, One in 40, in fact. Someone here sold us out, I know it. This is live down there right now. I can barely make out the figures. Yeah, here, let me make it brighter. Switch to another camera. How many we got? There's six, so we can see all the way around the building. Wait, you can see them? You can make out how many there are? Um, maybe about 40, maybe more. Oh, God, we'll, we'll keep watching it, okay? See if you can see how many there are and get a good count. Oh, they still all look blurry to me. You better start focusing and sobering up real quick there, Junior. If Michael's right, God, I hope you're not. This could get ugly in a hurry. Is that the people you told us about? The Maulers? Yeah, see them. There's Scarface and her brother's there. The rest of these others, they don't look familiar. Hey! Why don't you all come on up? Join the party! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Angel, get him out of the window. Got it. Tommy, they move it all? 
No, still the same, but the scarred lady is getting pretty mad. She keeps waving her handset around and pointing at the number 18 again. <sighs> well, are you gonna call them or what? Yeah. I'm considering the what right now, thank you. No response, maybe the best response. Or you might just piss them off further. Seems like they came here to talk. They set off the tripwire, so maybe they didn't. They turned their lights after the alarm went off. Right, and they're circling us, so we have no idea of their intentions. Your call? I mean, I'm kind of a loss on this one, Chief. I mean, you were just about to answer them a minute ago. Well, that was before I knew someone from our tower had talked to them. Okay, so Bill's under control upstairs. Where are we at down here? Michael, you should respond to them. What? You sure? Why? What else are you gonna do? You'll just wait around here another five minutes before you just decide you have no other option. Ouch. She's right. It's either talk or... Their next step is gonna be the front door. Oh, so now you're on her side. Hmm. Well, what'll it be? All of a sudden she knows everything. What was that? Ah, here goes. Can't you see the sign? Perhaps they can't read. We see it. Well, it's about damn time. I've been hollering for a while. What's your problem? Can't you pick up the phone? How do you know our radio wasn't broke? Who am I speaking with? Sergeant Cross, who the hell is this? Well now, Sergeant. Do you have a first name you go by? Yeah, Sergeant. Oh, come now. You're not very trusting, Michael, now are you? Before you ask how I know, Scratch recognized your voice. So then, if you knew, why did you ask? I'm just trying to be polite. Polite, my ass. Don't trust him, Michael! Oh, really? Bert, sit. Okay. Wait! Come on! You never said your name when she was here last time. Angel, yes, but not you. She couldn't have told him who you were. Michael? Well, that's comforting. How do they... Traitor confirmed I was right. So wish I wasn't. Are you there? Did I lose you? Uh, what is it you want? Right to the point. Coincidentally. I was hoping to take you up on the invitation of your friend shouting out the window. We just want to come in and join the party, so to speak. It looks like you're having such a good time in there. Look, I already had this conversation with your scarred friend there. It ain't gonna happen. I received your message, but I was also told that you would think about it. Have you? Yes, we have. The answer is no. Come now. Perhaps you should reconsider. You have your own place. Let us have ours. Yes, we do. But it's flawed in so many ways. I don't want to get into the details now. But I must commend you on your home. It's so much better. Yeah, because we made it that way. I really think you should reconsider. We have a lot we can offer you. Supplies, support, think about it. Okay. Done. Still no. Now why not? How can I sweep the deal anymore? What? Are you serious? Always. How the hell did I respond to this? Don't look at me. Trust me, I wasn't. Pegs, you? I don't trust them, Michael. They're saying these things, but it's just because they want in. Or maybe they just want to be safe. We do have a common threat. The enemy of my enemy is Yeah, my... yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. What's your name? It's Durai. That's the guy they were talking about when they came knocking. Remember? Where are you from, Durai? Eastern Bay. Before that? I don't see that as relevant. I do. Well, I don't. You know what we bring to the table? These are the only things that need to be discussed right now. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you're the one making the rules now. That's right, I am. The hell you are! Michael, calm down. That won't help. I don't appreciate the tone you're using with me, Sergeant Michael Cross. 
What a condescending prick. Don't piss him off, Michael. You just need a little finesse. Fuck it, you deal with him. Hey there, uh, a dry, right? Which one is this one now? Bert. Bert? Oh, thank you, dear. Bert! Nice to meet you, finally. I've heard so much about you. Hell, there's a lot to know about me. I'm sure you don't know it all. Only a few things, but some of the more important ones. I heard you're quite a shot. You heard right. Well, I wouldn't brag, but I myself am quite a qualified marksman. You don't say. You don't believe me? No, no, I do. Come on, I thought at least we, you and I, could have some mutual respect for one another. Yeah, well, that ain't happening. Perhaps you doubt my skill. We lost camera one, two, three. Damn it. They're shooting? What about the sounds attracting, you know, them? Look at these three cameras. They're prepared for that. They have guys watching the rear as well. Why? So they prepared to make some noise. Well, they can't shoot around the building. We still have the other. Four, five, six. The other cameras are gone. Now that's not possible. Those are on the other side. <laughs> I assure you those last three were not me. But I will take credit for personally training many of my soldiers. Soldiers, don't insult us. You're a bunch of shit for brains on a jailbreak, wielding a bunch of stolen guns. It would be wise not to insult me. So you can hit a couple of targets. Big frickin' deal. Oh, just keep digging, why don't you? What? You just can't let these guys push us around. I think you should apologize. We can't fight them right now. How about we just stall, buy us some time, when we can fight? I'm game. Should I? Answer me. Look, that was good shots there. N nice shooting. Way to break our stuff. Really appreciate it. Bert! I'm, I'm trying. I didn't get to come out that way. Oh, give me that. Move! Pegs, you? Seriously? This is no time to mess around. Hey, hey, give her a shot. Hello? Hey, it worked. They're speechless. I'm sorry, miss. But I don't know who you are. Huh. Keep going, girl. Just say something else. I'm Pegs. You didn't have to give them your real name if they don't already know it. Does that really matter anymore? Really? Well, Pegs. I'm afraid it's too late. We've made up our mind. Please, we just need some more time to think about this. Can we have, like, a week or something? You're trying to be reasonable, are you? Well, now, darling, perhaps we could arrange or negotiate something. I, after all, am a reasonable man. Now, there's always some... Shot fire! Where did those come from? Are they shooting at us? Wait! Stop shooting! We can work this out! You're shooting at us! Third floor! Second window on the left! Lee Harvey! Up there! Bert, find out who took those shots. Got it! Michael, what do I say? Quick, give me that. Hey, that was a mistake. Someone else took the shot. That was not us. Did you hear me? I said that wasn't us. Look, this is a misunderstanding. Someone acted on their own. See you real soon. You step one foot in this building and I swear you will never leave it alive. <laughs> you really think you'd be able to hold your rifle steady right now? Even if you did, we know you'd be firing blanks, since that seems to be all that you have left. Damn it. Tommy, go upstairs. Tell everyone to... Well, tell them what's coming. Okay. 
Angel, take this key. Distribute what ammo and guns are left in the armory. Okay. What can I... Eggs. They know. They know everything. Who would do this to us? I mean, I, I, I knew some people were unhappy, but for someone to do this... Michael, I don't... Get away from the window! We'll find who did this, Michael. But we can't focus on them right now. You never cease to amaze me. Just shut up and tell me what to do. Okay, well, uh, come on. Uh, okay, I need you to take everyone who can't fight or shoot up to the sixth floor or higher. If anyone's going to try and get in here, it'll be the third floor or below. Hold on. I'm fighting with you, Michael. Uh, Pegs, look, I appreciate your new confidence, but... I'll tell everyone else to go, but I'm with you. Really? Yes! I'm going to either fight you or the Maulers. Now go. They're moving around the tower, testing where they can get through. All right, everyone, listen up. They know we're under a few drinks and short on rounds. They'll take some risk getting close, just not right away. Save your ammo as long as you can. The best thing to do is to not panic and to communicate with each other. Michael, I'm out of arrows, and we don't have enough ammo for all the guns. Those of you who can't fight or don't have a gun, head upstairs. I know many of you want to help, but without any weapons, you'll just end up getting in the way. Come on. All right. Saul's waking downstairs. Lizzie's helping him. Looks like it's just you, me, Bert, and Pegs uh, down here for now. Oh, it's better than putting only one or two rounds in a gun. I'd rather the shots be taken by the better marksman. Uh, sir, you feeling all right? You able to do this? Better than most. Bert? Uh, a little wobbly, but all this adrenaline sobered me up pretty fast. You feel it? Yeah, a little, I guess. But not as much as you. Shh. Did you hear that? South side. They got ropes. Bert, shoot one. Slow them down a bit. On it. Come on, Shirley. Hold it steady. Damn it! I missed. I thought you were sobering up. I am. Mostly. What the? Holy hell! What the hell is that sound? <laughs> nice one! Never like that Kelly! All of them! They're, they're throwing stuff down! TVs, sofas, you name it! <laughs> and a girl? No. Get back inside! Hurry. Move! Bert! Move! Damn it! <laughs> Bert. I'm good. Well, it was a good idea while it lasted. Bert, what's going on down there? They're switching sides. They're coming from the east. What's on that side? The parking garage. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Hey there, listener. Do you have something to say? Then you're already a podcaster. You just don't know it yet. Whether you love to shoot the breeze with friends, have an urge to share your passions with the world, or even want to grow your business, you've got something worth saying with a podcast. With Acast, it couldn't be easier to start your own show. Launch, grow, and make money from your podcast across all listening platforms. If you have something to say, you're a podcaster. Head over to Acast.com to get started for free. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, Manly Woods, Michael Ray Clark, Jenna McCombie, Kevin Flood, and Bob Bergen as Skittles. Also featuring the voices of Ben Duran, I'm Michael Swan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Sock, and Casey Wayland. 
To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theatre for the Mind by Wayland Productions. This is Jack Ward, and on behalf of everyone here at the Mutual Audio Network, we wish you, your family, and all your friends safe harbor during these difficult times.